What's up guys, Mr. Dan here back again. This time I have a five minutes or less review of The Return of the Vampire, a 1943 film starring Bela Lugosi. This was directed by Lou Landers for Columbia. And that is one of two reasons why I find this film very interesting. Uh, the fact that they could not use the word Dracula as this is not a universal film is one of them. The other is that they fully exploit something that I don't believe vampire films have, have used enough in their uh, plots and that is the role of the assistant, the subservient sort of assistant to uh, the vampire. Of course, you know, we had Renfield in the original and other films like Fright Night have had some pretty good depictions and even some of the Hammer films with the, the uh, Klaus character, I think he's called Klaus, you know, have all been a very, pretty effective uh, helpers to the vampire, but this one does something really different. We'll get to that in a moment. And basically this tells the story of a vampire's tomb that is disturbed by a bomb in World War II. Uh, his name is Armand Tesla, great name. You know, for a lower budgeted film, and I believe it's a lower budgeted film, they do a pretty good job with those war scenes. You know, there's some stock footage and things, and but there's even a, a footage of a plane on fire. And you know, the effect isn't great, but they made some efforts there to portray this wartime setting. And essentially, he basically impersonates somebody else and moves in on this family as uh, people are dying in the countryside. And it, that's pretty much the straightforward plot of the film. It reminded me very much of a film that I really enjoyed and gave high marks to, The Return of Dracula, which came, which was obviously uh, inspired by this film. So it's really fascinating to learn that now, uh, as that film also featured a vampire that sort of impersonated someone else and worked his way into the good graces of a family. The other thing that really distinguishes this is the servant himself. He's a werewolf. I didn't know. Why didn't you guys tell me there was a werewolf in this? And it's pretty, he's pretty good. He's played by uh, Matt Willis, and his name is Andreas. And, you know, before the vampire is awakened, he's actually working for the family as a lab assistant, and he's very loyal. Well, when uh, Tesla rises back from the grave he becomes subservient again and uh you know that sort of conflict is really one of the best parts of the film it's really good the werewolf makeup is pretty good you know they give him a a nice big puppy dog nose i think that was kind of standard back then uh the makeup artist was uncredited his first name was clay i don't remember it at the moment at the, at the moment but it's pretty good and i really enjoyed the fact that they did something different and actually had a werewolf as the assistant so this is 109 minutes long it goes by quick my one complaint is that i kind of wish it went on a little longer uh you know i could have done with 90 minutes and had more line delivery from lugosi and more interaction between all the characters yeah if you haven't checked this out if it passed you by because it's not a dracula film definitely go ahead and check it out highly recommend the return of the vampire and don't forget i'm always interested to hear what everyone else has to think of this film in the comments below Hobbs, Nye, uh, I know Nye likes this one. Uh, any, any little tidbits or information you have that I missed, I would appreciate it letting me know in the comments below. Here's, a, here's a, what I'm wondering. Uh, you know, they don't use the word Dracula. They don't say werewolf. I don't believe they, I forget if they say wolfman or just wolf, but they don't use the word werewolf. Well, Return of Dracula, it occurs to me, is from Gramercy Pictures. So how, how were they able to use the word Dracula? I don't know if they had all the money in the world to make a deal with Universal. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.